Everyone, hello. I'm Ringtail Rendell, and thanks as always for your support. This is a group Let's Play simply because the other videos that are mainly created for this Let's Play were uploaded on the channels of Vega and Jessica Joy. There should be annotations on screen right now, so you may go visit their lovely little channels, and I thank them again for letting me tag along in this adventure here. Ah! By the time you see this, the Let's Play the main campaign should be over, but I missed out on several, several episodes, so I feel that I need to do some makeup here. So, this is Ringtail Randall, makes up in Bloody Trap, and what a place to go make up, huh? Now, let's turn this down here. I have to explain some things to you before we begin here. There are three modes, and the modes that we went through was Adventure. And I'm pretty sure eventually we may get to get Deathmatch, but I for sure plan probably a big race. Because there are rewards for race, but, like times they are. but for now, we shall go into Adventure. And now, when you're playing Bloody Trapland, you have a choice between four colors of cat. Red, green, blue, and pink. And I've actually done my research thanks to the others. The red cat runs 50% faster and falls and rises 50% faster than the other cats. While the green cat runs about 75% speed of other cats and falls about the same amount of speed. The blue cat, we believe, has a smaller hitbox, and I actually think I have found what the pink cat does. I'm not entirely sure. Feel free to correct me if you know. But I think the pink cat is less affected by terrain. Like, she does not near slide nearly as far as the other cats on ice. And wind seems to not affect her as much. But since I was the blue cat in the last play, and because I played Toho a little bit and the smaller hitbox is always good, I'm gonna pick the blue cat. Risk and trade start game. And we're gonna begin... Oh dear, hold on a minute. Oh, well, I can't do that level they did. I require another player to get there. Ah, but... Blade Trap is something I would like to call a masochistic platformer. It's easy to master. Uh, <laughs> that is anything but the truth. It's easy to learn, but difficult to master. Alright, stage one out of the way there. This is basically our tutorial here. Now, you can do a double jump or a poot, but you cannot double jump right away. You must not jump. Like so. If you jump, you can't jump again. If you walk up the edge, you can indeed poot. Make sure there aren't any filthy tricks around here. Mr. Fist. Alright, simple enough. Entrance to the cave. And a good thing to note is that before you go through a level, you should probably wait a few seconds to see if there are any hazards. Like, you see those brown blocks right up there? If I'd gotten up there in those first three seconds, they would have ganked me real good. For sure. Uh, double jump here. There we go. Just wait for the little spikety doos that don't want him to poke me in the bum. One, two, there we go. Just jump my way straight into the cave here. Cave with planes. Stop. Go. See, it's it's pretty standard so far. It's not too awful bad. If you want to see bad, oh, oh just tune into our let's play of it. It it gets pretty bad. Deeper into the cave. All right. Duck and duck and duck and double. All right. And now we must learn about the irritable little lightly tap jump. Here's a full jump. Here's a lightly tap jump. You must only lightly tap. If you tap a little too long, you're dead. Oh, or if you don't jump at all, you're dead. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to get through this without any deaths. Oh, well. Lightly jump. There we go. Alright, fresh air. Just gotta make a good steady jump over these saws here. New duck. Jump. If I had another person, I could have gotten up to that cave there, but nope. Watch your step. Again, remember, one, two, three. Aha, see? It would have been bad if I went ahead already. Stop. Alright. Think it's the whole platform there? Jump. 
You can just double jump over that platform. Who cares about it? Let me see. Yeah. Now, see, I need a second player to get up there because they have to jump. I have to bounce off their head, and then I have to double jump. Because when you bounce off of a player's head, you can double jump again. But I have no access to this, so I cannot get there. But it's okay. They covered it in their let's play. So I'm going to take the route they did not cover, which is to one nine. Jump. Light to tap. Jump. Jump. There we go. See, that's pretty standard. I don't know why they didn't take that path. Oh, okay. I think I can see why they didn't want to take this one if they got this far. Alright. Just gotta be very, very cautious of the swingity rock dudes. <laughs> Alright. And duck. And duck. And small jump. And really, the cat, blue cat, has the advantage definitely when you're dealing with saws because he has the smallest hitbox of all the cats for sure. I've found that I've gotten grazed multiple times, but I've not died where the other two cats have. So, the blue cat is definitely my favorite. Alright. Oh dear, looks like I may have to just stop right here, because this is as far as those two got in the first episode. So, thank you for joining me, and let's catch up on the bloody trap lag with Ringtail Randall. I will see you in the next issue. And many of these issues may be pretty short, they may be pretty long, it just depends on how long it takes me to clear them. So, I'll see you next time. Definitely give us a chance. I love this game. It's great. Really good. Alright, keep those tails spiking. See you again. Have a good night. Bye.